Hey guys, I don't normally do this um, and uh, really not really my thing, but I figured that Ryan's kind of shared his story with you, um, a little bit about our life. You might as well hear my side. Um, so just a 30, 30 second rendition of, you know, walking down memory lane here with, uh, with Rhino. Um, we uh, both kind of grew up in Iowa and uh, we met in college um, and we started our life together here in Iowa and then we decided, um, actually I decided, that I needed something more and Iowa didn't have the opportunity for me, um, unfortunately, so I um, made the decision to apply for a position in the Chicagoland area and I had full support of Ryan and um, at that time our son was gosh middle school um, no actually he was elementary fifth grade uh, he graduated um, from elementary school the year that uh, I got the job and so we ended up moving and um, full support of Ryan and my son, and we moved to the greater um, Chicagoland area, and I met some really great people, and um, we have some really great friends, some best friends that we've met there. We lived in that um, area for about six years, and um, I enjoyed it, I loved it. Um, I loved the people, um, I enjoyed where we were at, and, um, but Ryan, he, he needed more, he needed something different. And in the Illinois market, it just it wasn't it for him. It was too busy. So I had this brilliant idea that, you know, hey, I'll just throw my name in a hat for another job um, that was either Arizona or Colorado. And I got it. And so um, full support again of Ryan and saying, yeah, go for it. Let's do it. And I said, good. I was hoping you'd say that because I already accepted the job in Colorado. And so we moved to Colorado. Uh, most beautiful place to live. It really is. I loved it there as well. The outdoors were fantastic. We lived at the base of a mountain. Um, you know, tons of hiking and activities. But he didn't like it. <laughs> he, um, we both kind of felt it was, it was time to come back home. And um, I come from a very large family who all live here in Iowa. And Ryan has family here too as well. And um, we thought, you know, with everything that's going on in the world today, it's time to come back home. And so um, we ended up selling and we moved in search of a farm that Ryan wanted to, um, you know, really start. We searched, we searched, and we searched. Um, and we had some really tough Things happen to us here in Iowa, which I was surprised because in Colorado, we bought our house sight unseen. And here, we were seeing the houses. Um, we had some, some, some very Midwest challenges kind of come into play, unfortunately, I feel like. Um, we, we can get more into that, but I'm not going to dwell on that. And I know this is longer than 30 seconds, whoever's timing it, so just bear with me. But anyway, so we ended up um, renting um, a place from our family for a little bit and then we found this home that you kind of see us in um, you see in the background here we really haven't um, shown people very much about the home because um, it really wasn't the home that um, that sold us in the place it was more the vision that Ryan had on the property um, but it's definitely a different lifestyle for me um, I think you, if you've watched any of the other videos that we've done the Starbucks is about 30 miles away <laughs> Um, I have lost a little bit of weight. I think it has something to do with that because like, that's my jam. So um, I, uh, I'm missing that just a little bit, but I'm getting really good at making coffee. Um, so anyways, we moved here to this home and um, it was not really our first choice. Um, we're looking for more like a property with, you know, quite a bit of um, acreage to it, but um, this one actually came up and we decided to jump on it. And um, it hasn't let us down. Quite a bit going on. Um, I'm gonna actually take you guys outside, show you some of the stuff that we've been doing around the property. Um, but first, 
I gotta get my little shoes on and get my gloves because that's what we do around here apparently. Um, but anyway, so we've been really busy um, cleaning up around the property um, and really trying to make it our own. So um, I don't know if you guys have met, but this is Miss Piper. So say hi, Pipes. Whoop! Just kidding. She's just big boned. Um, so I'll kind of show you guys around a little bit, but really, truly, Ryan's been very busy. I haven't seen him like this for a very long time. He wakes up really early and he goes about his day, getting, getting his things done. Um, we just purchased a tractor, but let me show you um, our greenhouse. We've actually done quite a bit of work here, so I'll take you guys around, show you. You guys haven't seen it of recent, but um, we've kind of just really been working. We've got, we still got some work to do, but he's got a lot of stuff growing. So he's got some vegetables. Um, yeah, I've helped. I water uh, a little bit. You know, I do my thing. Um, but he's got lots of plants growing. And we're gonna be planting here soon and I'll show you guys where he's gonna be doing that. Um, but I actually bought him this beauty. Um, it's a lemon tree, which I think is pretty darn cool. So I bought him that. It's not dead yet, so thank God, because it was expensive. Um, and then he's got all of this like ornamental grass growing. He's doing like, um, like a salad mix, which I think is pretty cool. So he has all that going and then um, he also just planted some seeds, so, um, out in the, the, uh, kind of, we have a little patio area. I'll show you guys, but, um, I'm hoping it does well, and, uh, it's actually really starting to take off just a little bit. Um, it just started to, actually, so before I thought we weren't going to have very much growing in that greenhouse, so I don't know if it was the soil or what, but he got it fixed. Um, we also are starting to see some blooms on the apple trees, um, so we've got, got some apple trees going here. Um, he's pruned them. Sometimes Ryan can be an over pruner, just saying. He likes to pick and pry, and that's kind of his thing. And uh, I don't necessarily think it's the trees thing, so we'll see. Um, so curious on how these will grow. And then we also just, um, we cleared with this new tractor, and I'll have to show you guys. Ooh, right there, can you see him? He's right there out there, you know, enjoying his day in his little tractor. Oh, uh, you hear Duke? So, that's Duke. Um, if you have kids, please ear them up on, but Duke is a big <coughs> So, he's not nice, but he protects Miss Roxy. Um, as you can see, this is Duke in the wild. He's stalking his prey. I think he's going to attack, and he did. A little sidekick there, a little side action. So, um, again, earmuffs, people, earmuffs. Ah! Hey, Rock Rock. All right, so that's Duke and Roxy. And then we just, I say we like, you know, but really I meant Ryan. He like had a turd in his pocket or something, but clearly wasn't me. Um, but Ryan actually cleared this all off. This was all full of like overgrowth, so he cleaned that off. And he's got some bees. Um, yeah, so. We'll see. He did the bee thing in Colorado, which I wasn't a complete fan, but it was actually kind of cool. Um, they don't bother you if you don't bother them. And um, I, uh, I actually enjoyed, uh, it was kind of neat, the honey and, and just kind of how they build their hive and stuff. I know, who would have thought I would say that, but it is cool. Um, so let me, go, let me show you guys the patio and then I'm going to, uh, Ryan's kind of creeping up on me, so I can't let him like hear all the secrets that I've told you because, you know, that's super secret stuff. So, give me just a second here, and you're going to see Big Rhino on the old tractor. The old. Say hi, Ryan. We're uh, making our YouTube video. I'm giving him an update. Oh, yeah. Say hi. Hello, Jane. Pose for your tractor. Huh? Do your pros. Do your model pros for Kubota. Hurry up! They're watching. Yo, Just do it. Kabodo ain't paying up. You better, you better shake that thing. My Miss Madison. Okay. As you can see, he's not into it. But anyways, so let me kind of show you. I have no idea what these trees are. 
but they're super pretty. Um, and bees are like, they love it. Um, but so this is kind of our patio area. I'm not a YouTuber, so my camera skills are not on point. So Ryan actually just planted some of this. So I'm sure some of those plaques are misspelled. <laughs> just kidding, Rhino. Okay. And then we've got, so he did seeds. So we've got that. Um, we're thinking more so like tomatoes and, you know, just season that kind of thing. You know, because uh, when um, I like to throw down. Just kidding. If anybody you guys know me, you know I can't cook. <laughs> Ah, I thought it was funny though. Um, okay, now uh, back at it. So we've got his and her tractors. I don't think that I've showed you mine yet, um, but you'll see that I have this nice butte. She is right here. Yep. So this right here, that's my ride. Yep, so if anybody, you know, wants to come hang out and, you know, get a ride, go ahead, come on over. And then that right there, that's Rhino's. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. So I'm gonna actually take you back to what we've really been doing with this old tractor thing. And also I should show you his garden because he's kind of like, he's been working really hard at it. And he's been having me do like, he had me come out here and help him with this tarp that he's putting on his garden. I have no idea why he's doing it. He's just doing it, whatever. He's just covering. But he picked the windiest day to do it. And I don't know if any of you guys are watching, but that were that remember this, but it's all it re took me back to the day where Ryan wanted to install insulation in our home, spray and insulation. And he picked the hottest day of the year to do it. Not kidding. So he has a knack for picking the worst days to do big projects. So let me just imagine this like. 30, 40 mile an hour winds, and I'm gonna show you. And you tell me what kind of workout I got. So you see this right here? That right there? Yeah, yeah. Let's just say it didn't end well. It did not. Oh, and on that day, that very day, it was so windy that it moved his little chicken thing. Yeah. It literally flipped it over. It was flipped, yeah. So we had to do that, but again, he had me help him with these tarps for coverage, right? Oh yeah, that's my tire. So found that in the back lot, but I've been using it to uh, to get my burn on. So yeah, I know. Like you guys are gonna realize that I'm like that person that's like squirrel, you know? And I completely lose track of what I was just talking about. Ryan hates it. I think that's why I do it so much is because I know it irritates him and I, it brings me joy. You know, it just does. Enjoy it. Oh, and see, there's another squirrel moment. I, uh, we actually found this right here. It was actually um, kind of all over the property. And so what I ended up doing was I pressure washed it. I probably didn't do it right. However, I thought it was pretty cool. Um, I think I'm gonna paint it. I'm trying to tell Ryan I'm gonna do it like a bright yellow. You know, why not? It was free technically you know but he's saying I should keep it subtle you know what I mean but if you know my personality I'm not subtle so I'm thinking you know why not and you guys you might actually be able to get to see Ryan set himself on fire because he is putting gas on this big pile of wood and uh, I'm just gonna stay back here and we're gonna enjoy the show because I think he's going to uh, set himself on fire tonight. Why? Because that's what we do. We're entertainers. All right, ready? Action. Here you go, folks. Holy ah! fire. <laughs> Sorry for the, for the subtle cuss word. <laughs> ah. I can't help it. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. But he almost set himself on fire. That's like the fourth time. I know. If insurance company's watching, I'm so sorry. <laughs> he is a risk. He's a liability. Um, but you know what? I love the guy. Why? Only God knows. Um, but let me show you. So, we've been, we've cleared this back area out. This right here, 
um, was actually full of like dirt piles and brush. So we cleared all this out and um, we're gonna, you wouldn't believe it if I told you, but I'm just gonna tell you. So Ryan's gonna get some goats. I know, I, I don't, I know. We're gonna be making some soap and stuff. So, you know, which is kind of cool. We'll see. I might be able to like, you know, sprinkle some pizzazz in the soap. Um, but we'll see how that goes because, you know, I, uh, again, I'm kind of new to all this, so <laughs> I'll have to give you an update. I'm gonna end this video here soon, but I have to show you something that is absolutely by far the best thing when you're having a bad day to really see if I can find her. Pipe, pipe, where's your ball? This dog does that I've never seen any dog in my life do it. I just gotta find her basketball and uh, I mean she goes after it big time. I'm gonna see. Pipe, pipe, where's your ball? Where is it? Where is it? She's super excited. And when she, uh... oh, okay, let's go. Let's go. Where is it? Show me. Show me, Pipe Pipe. Where is it at? Where is it at? She don't know. She don't know. She don't know. <laughs> All right, let's find it. Come on, girl. But I'm pretty sure, because we rescued her, I am pretty sure that whoever were her previous owners played soccer, because this dog, she can play soccer. Get off the stage, Duke! All right, I gotta find her, her ball. But if I can't find it, I truly am sorry. I'm trying to find it for y'all. Y'all here, Duke? Yeah. He's just like puffing his feathers, letting me know he's here. But he don't know. What I do is I'll go in there and I'll get him and I'll just put him down and I'll pet him and he gets so <coughs> upset. Excuse my French. He gets so upset that uh, he don't know what to do. And then he walks away, forgets I'm in there, and then about 10 minutes later, I'll go again there, and he comes after me. So, I just have to still work at it. Ryan wants to make him dinner, but I can't do it. He's so mean, but he does protect the ladies, and that's what matters. All right, folks. I'll get, it, I'll get Piper on another one. Um, if I can get her, I'll, I'll go ahead and share it with y'all. But, um... That's the story of us, my version. And that's how we are here where we're at today. And honestly, I wouldn't change it for the world. I, um, I'm really starting to enjoy this. And uh, see, I told you all, look, she plays soccer. You see that? Yep, that's her. What do you think, Pipe Pipe? Do your thing, girl. Sure. Okay. Okay, cool. I'm almost done. Rude. rude. Alright, you guys. Until next time. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, I would love to tell you that I did, but I don't enjoy doing videos. I'm just, I'm here for the ride. <laughs> Alright, y'all. I hope you uh, like, share, and subscribe for Rhino. And um, I'll get you on the next one.